Hey guys, this is Comp Hollywood Studios here at the final Fright Fest Power Hours Night. Uh, this is Thursday, October 28th, I believe. And this is pretty much it for Fright Fest. After today, it's just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then it's done. So, yeah, I'm very excited to head in for Fright Fest Power Hours, see how it goes today. Hopefully, it's not too crowded. Um, power Hours, of course, are typically not too crowded. So, yeah, we'll see you guys up at the entrance. So we made it up here, a bit of a crowd up here, but it shouldn't be too bad today. It's always a little heavy on the uh, entrance, but it should be a good day. So we just finished the marathon, not on Toro, but on Ka. Ka was really, really good, got uh, five rides in. Uh, it's running pretty good. It was on full boost for the first few rides, so we got a crazy amount of airtime. Jack, how was that? That was crazy. The wind, it was crazy. Going Chris, flying. How was it? Was good. First time ever uh, doing back to back without even getting out of the seat for me. Ace, how was it? It was good. It was good. So underrated. Looks like Bizarro is starting to show its true colors. Medusa is poking through. Maybe they'll retheme it next year. I guess we'll see. So much yellow. That's insane. Zoro is pretty solid today. That's another great look at Medusa taking over, hopefully. I really do think they're probably going to retheme this. Um, I'm sure it's going to get repainted. I mean, it kind of needs it more than anything in the park right now. Uh, I would love to see it rethemed to Medusa, though. It would just make sense. on Nitro in the back row. We did three back-to-back -back rides on Jersey Devil and it was awesome. I actually got to ride all three extremes, so back row, middle row, and front row. And it was really, really good. It's running pretty solid considering how cold it is. It's, it's pretty cold tonight, but Jersey Devil's running real good. Scores on Justice League. I wound up winning with 265.
early holiday in the park preparation here. These lights glow up, I believe, red and blue. They're really cool looking at night. Since this is the final Fright Fest power hours, you might as well do a Fright Fest maze. Why not do the best one? A ladder. Chainsaw dude just jumped out here. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished Wicked Woods and the lab. Just got out of Wicked Woods now, uh, but the lab was great over there. They obviously had a little bit of a slowdown there. I think someone lost their keys and they just couldn't find them. So that guy with the chainsaw was having a lot of fun. But lab was great and so was Wicked Woods. What did you guys think? I thought it was great. Really fun. Really good, as usual. It, it was better than it has been all Fright Fest, I yeah. think. During power hours, they have no scare actors on the midway, but that's kind of like works in your favor because then all those scare actors go to the mazes and makes the mazes a million times better, which is awesome. gonna end out our night here at Fright Fest Power Hours at Great Adventure. Um, we it's a it's about like 9:45. Park closes in a little over an hour, so there's not really too much of a reason to stay any longer. Um, it's also it's fairly crowded. I mean, obviously it's nowhere near as bad as a regular uh, Fright Fest night, uh, but Fright Fest Power Hours is really really awesome. I'm so glad they brought back Power Hours in general. Um, they were awesome in the spring and they were even better now now that you have more rides open like skyscraper and you had all the mazes too mazes were actually better during power hours than they were during regular fright fest which is pretty crazy um that's mainly because of the fact that there's no scare actors on the midways which depending on how you see it it's either a pro or a con i see it as a pro because you don't really have to worry about people running into you and whatnot but like I said, Fright Fest Power Hours has been absolutely incredible. This is the last Fright Fest Power Hour, so if you missed your chance, oh well. There's still a couple more nights of Fright Fest, but by the time this is out, I'm pretty sure Fright Fest will be done. Um, of course, Holiday in the Park is coming up at the park, and Holiday in the Park is like my favorite time of year at this park. So I definitely recommend coming and checking out Holiday in the Park. And supposedly Jersey Devil might be open during Holiday in the Park, which is always another reason to go. So that's going to about do it for this video. Of course, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.